The president, of course, monitoring developments from his club in Bedminster, New Jersey today, tweeting shortly after the word of the El Paso shootings came in, pledging federal support and later calling the attack an act of cowardice. A short time ago before leaving for Washington, saying hate has no place in our country. But tonight, President Trump's own words are coming under increasing scrutiny. Here's ABC's senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega. Heading home from his New Jersey golf club, President Trump today vowing action but offering no specifics. Hate has no place in our country and we're going to take care of it. His chief of staff used the alleged El Paso shooter's own words, saying the attack was not about President Trump. I hate to draw attention to the manifesto, uh, but if you actually go and look at it, what the, what the guy says is that he's felt this way a long time before Donald Trump got elected president. No politician is to blame for that. But many Democrats running against him say the president is directly to blame. Former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke, who calls El Paso home, says there's no question the president is fueling racism. Calling those in Africa nations and saying that he'd like to have more immigration from Nordic countries, the whitest place on planet Earth today. He is an open, avowed racist and is encouraging more racism in this country. Senator Bernie Sanders calling out President Trump point blank, tweeting, Mr. President, stop your racist, hateful and anti-immigrant rhetoric. Your language creates a climate which emboldens violent extremists. Just three months ago, this scene at a rally in Panama City Beach, Florida. President Trump at first laughing when a supporter in the crowd suggested shooting immigrants. But how do you stop these people? You can't. There's no. That's only in the panhandle you can get away with that statement. And this spring, in the Oval Office, the president said he does not view white nationalism as a growing threat. Do you see today white nationalism as a rising threat around the world? I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems. And now the president says he plans to deliver remarks tomorrow morning right here at the White House. It is unclear exactly what he plans to announce at this time. David, tonight the flags here are flying at half staff. All right, Cecilia Vega with us live from the White House. Cecilia, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.